finally time to decorate our house for Christmas and we're quite excited. We got up early this morning and the trees are already up. You can see one is right behind us and now we can start using our very festive German Christmas decorations. Yes, and we will show you what we bought last week in Germany. Exactly. We have some wonderful new additions, but now let's get cracking. Yeah, let's Let, start. We shouldn't lose any time. Let's start. First things first. First thing, our wonderful candle lights. Yes, that we've had for so, so many years, decades, and we hope that's not too boring, but of course we have to start with those. And yeah, I want to show you what, where all the packages we've got. So we've got this, something here and we've got this big box with very old things all German ornaments and here and this is what we brought from Germany which we'll show you quite excited to show you and yeah we haven't had a look since we got home so it's also exciting for us and this is for later for some sweets. It's also from Germany. From, we say in German, we say Willowa und Boch. A very lovely company. We have our second tree here in the snug. A small and very slim tree that fits this space perfectly. Already prepared some things and just a little Christmas decoration here. And this is our table for the German Christmas pyramid. So we cleared it, it's the perfect space for it. No. Look, I've got to replace one of the bulbs. This one is broken. Yeah, well, after so many years, it can happen. I must say, I really had to get used to having an artificial tree because we both grew up with a real tree and the entire, I don't know, process, the entire thing that comes with it, like choosing the tree, putting it up at home, having this lovely scent of a fresh and real tree at home is amazing. But it just doesn't make sense because usually we go to Germany for two weeks over Christmas and then it would be left alone without water. So that would be not good. And when we watch TV, we have this little tree and because we have this lovely window which is actually the original window from probably around 1870, 1880, they left that when they did the extension here. We have that tree and can also see the light of this tree while watching TV. Now I think judging by the packaging. Oh no, that's not tinsel. This is actually from Kete Wohlfahrt and we just went to Kete Wohlfahrt in Rotenburg ob, ob der Tauber and it was amazing. So now this is from Kete Wohlfahrt. The soldier as well, which was a gift from my sister actually. Love this so much. But I'm looking for the tinsel because that has to go on the tree first. Yes, that was what I was looking for. And that that's a very old fashioned thing to do. This is actually from Germany. We love it so much. So not a thing that probably young people would do. I don't know, but we love it. So we have one here. 
and yeah, we have several. So we have two chains on the tree already and we have more tinsel chains and you can honestly you can easily combine gold and silver it works perfectly together we should find our tree topper and then we can take it from there We just saw it. It's here. Guess what's in there? The famous Christmas pickle. Now, the Christmas pickle is not a tradition where we come from. But it's so funny because so many in the States say it is a tradition where, where they come from, in, in some part of the States, brought over from German people. We don't know. But we think it's a very funny thing to have because usually I think that's what it's all about. You have to hide the pickle in the Christmas tree and the one who finds it gets an extra gift. I think that's what it is. But it's a funny thing, isn't it? I always love mushrooms on a tree so much and these have not only the perfect size, I also love the colour. So we have one here, another one here, but I think we have more. So, so pretty. In case you missed it, we just returned from Germany. We went to Wartenburg of der Tauber in Bavaria, which was so amazing. So we filmed the town, which is absolutely stunning. And yeah, we, we also filmed at the Kirte Wohlfahrt flagship store. And it's such a magical store. As soon as you step inside, you feel like a child. And these are some things that we brought home that will go onto the tree. And we brought more that we will show you throughout the video. But let's start with these things. Now, this was actually a gift that we got from Kate of Wolfhard. And we were speechless because the packaging is so amazing. And I have to say, in front of the shop, is this amazing vintage car with all the gifts and everyone just stops no matter the age or old and young to take a picture it's so it's just so nice to see so yeah. so this is the car and it looks so beautiful that will be very special for us and will always remind us of such a beautiful weekend. Okay, the car goes here. I think that's a great spot. This is a beautiful brochure telling you more about the history. And here is the, I just spotted the Christmas village. That looks, yeah, don't you think? That looks so small. It, yes, it's but a, it's huge. It, it is huge. The tree is absolutely huge and so magical. So if you ever plan to go to Germany, you should put that on your list. You yeah. won't regret if it. If you love Christmas, you'll love it. Yes, that yes. So let's start with this one. A Bavarian guy and you know what let's see oh no <laughs> that's the fox that's the gorgeous fox look 
I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. Okay, that's the box. That's the Bavarian guy. Let's see what we have. Ah, <laughs> that's the Bavarian girl, see? And when I said in, in the shop, I really love the girl, some of you commented saying you should get both the guy and the girl. See? That's what Yerk said as well. So we got them both. So cute. So German, German, um, German people on a German Christmas tree. Couldn't be more perfect. No, uh, Bavarian people. Bavarian people. <laughs> well, very cliche. So he has, has his beer and she has got a pretzel. Oh yes, so that's from the from the famous uh, country series. We really love this. That's adorable. I love the colour so much. And there's something else. Yeah, we really love this one as well. Ein Vogelhäuschen. That's so adorable. Let's put the guy here. How do you like it? Excellent. <laughs> I'm so glad we got them um, because so many things or most of the things on our tree have special memories because a lot of the items are incredibly old or are the things that we got when we celebrated our very first Christmas together. So that's why I was a bit anxious to share yet another Christmas decoration video because we're not so many people keep changing their decorations and we actually never we add a little bit but everything else just stays the same it's a tradition for us and just special memories we we could never change up our tree every year They need to get on the tree as well as fruit, mushrooms, angels. I always have to think where to put it. Yes, starting to look very nice. You know what I always find? Hmm. Tree is big. Yeah. But when you start decorating it, yeah. Uh, you don't know where to put the stuff. No, uh, I know. Yeah, you really have to think. Yeah. Where to put it. So that's from Krebs Glass, which is a very traditional company in Germany. And that looks so stunning. Also, this is from there. I love that. You have to show something. Although. Yeah. It looks like a real mess in here, but over there, yeah, put something yeah. for later. Late, I don't know if t for today or tomorrow. This well, one. yeah. Lebkuchen. Mm -hmm. mm. Is that from Aldi or is it from Lidl? Lidl. 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 Lebkuchen. Then we've got um, Domino Steine, Domino yeah. cakes. Yeah. And Glühwein. Malt wine. Christkindl Glühwein. Well, usually you actually you, you do make that yourself because it's yeah. very easy. But so why did you buy it? <laughs> no, no. And it's from Germany. Yeah, but what I meant is like usually you make it yourself because it's so easy. Yes, what I'll do is I'll. Mm -hmm. I will refine it. You you will pimp it up? Yes, I will. <laughs> With some more spices, probably. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. I always look forward to our candle arch. Which is... Which is from Germany. We've shown it in all the videos as well. 
Now that is from the All Mountains. It's handmade and we got it as a present and it is such a special present. Tree number one. So what we also did is, as always, we've been doing that for decades and we grew up with it. So we always finish with angel hair which looks incredibly nice when you put it right here where the lights are and also some ribbon that we made ourselves and it's so nice to have the candle arch and then when you when we have the other tree it looks incredibly festive well i like it that's our German tree with a lot of German ornaments. Hardly any ornaments from here. I think yeah. about maybe a handful from here. Yeah, the Big Ben. <laughs> yes, yeah. The Big Ben. And we bought ornaments here in the UK, but they are made in Germany. So, yeah, it's our, our German tree. We bought something really lovely at Kata Wolfart, something we've wanted for years and it's in here, not for the tree but to put on a table. It's so gorgeous. Now you could you could buy these individually but it's better to have that as a as a couple I would say because yeah the two of them just belong together. So you have the, the miner, because this is made in the All Mountains and the All Mountains was a region with a lot of mines, so that's a miner. And this is an angel. And they go together because the angel, well, is a protection for the miner and so well let me see uh where are the candles so here so candles go in there we bought them in germany as well so the candles go in here and as you can see let me do this one first so you've got the angel and when you light the candles the angel also brought light in the very dark mine. So that's really nice. And we were told such an amazing story by Felicitas from Kate of So she said there's still the tradition in some of the villages in the All Mountains that when a child is born, a girl gets the angel, a boy gets the miner, and they put them in the windows during the festive season and then when you go for a walk you see all these figures and you know there are two girls there's a boy and a girl all in the windows and I'd love to see that to be fair I think it's such a great tradition and I'm so glad we have those now I'm not sure where we will put them what do you think in the dining room yes yeah Maybe, you know what, we could put them also on the table when we eat. Yes, or we can put them on the mantelpiece. Or we can yes. put them in the window. No, <laughs> no, I, I forgot about the mantelpiece. That's where we put them. Yeah. Then we bought just some more candles for our, for our pyramid. Then some small napkins with... I think they look quite old-fashioned and vintagey. I really like that. And then we got some gingerbread cones for our smoker. Gingerbread scent, which should be nice. I think we will try that tonight. So this is our smoker from the All Mountains. And you can see... It always makes me smile. It's, it's pretty brown because the smoke comes out of the mouth. So, yeah, we should try that tonight. Yeah. So, 
that goes in there. You can see Santa Claus is a heavy smoker. <laughs> yes, yes. We also bought some lovely cards because we love the cards there. So this is actually a card, like it's like an advent calendar, and we really love that. That's another one, an advent calendar, and this is actually. Uh, this is Rotenburg of der Taube. Yep. <laughs> this is the Hotel Eisenhut. This is the Käthe Wohlfahrt Christmas Village. This is the Christmas Museum. That's the town hall. <laughs> Isn't it? No. Nope. No, that's not the town hall. It's a pharmacy. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. The town hall is behind that, I think. And I really love this one. Angels in the kitchen. That's also like an advent calendar. And none of them. I think we, we only bought advent calendars and I really love that. We saw so many houses that looked like that in the Horton book. So this is the current situation in our snug. It's a real mess, but this is what we need for the second tree. And mm -hmm. to be fair, to be fair, I'm honestly really hungry because yeah. it's now two thirty. Yes, me too. Yeah. yeah, we didn't have any lunch. I think we're going to have a break. Yeah, and might continue after that, and then we can watch a film while we decorate the tree. We might do that. Yeah, yes. that's a very good idea. Yeah. Luckily, we just got our head of fresh delivery, which is also our partner for today's video. Yes, and I can just say that HelloFresh is very good for us because we're sometimes really busy and yes. don't have the time to do the grocery shopping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or pick out all the meals, going through all the cookbooks. Yeah. It's sometimes yeah. so terrible. Yeah. And with the HelloFresh app, we can choose the recipes and order very easily. It saves us so much time. Yes, and then we just get a box which yes. contains all the ingredients to cook a really good meal. Exactly. So, we want to share what we picked. I think it will be so good. Yeah, it will be. So, this is what you get. And what we picked is double cheese and balsamic onion dauphinoise. Takes 40 to 45 minutes. Warm Cajun sweet potato salad with avocado and Greek style cheese, 40 to 45 minutes. And this is what we're going to do now because it only takes 20 minutes. So quick, exactly what we need. Yeah. Sambal teriyaki chicken stir fry with jasmine rice, mange too, and sesame seeds. Oh, that sounds great. I love stir fry. Me too. And the great thing is it gives you See, I mean, you you have like a step by step guide, yeah, and it's basically foolproof. Yes, even I can cook them. <laughs> you are a good cook, but if you if you're not into cooking at all, that helps so much. Honestly, nothing can go wrong. So, let's yeah, let's do this. I'm honestly hungry. So this is what we need, number twelve, and also. In here, because the chicken will be in here, so yeah. So these are all the ingredients we need for the stir fry, and Jörg is going to cook. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll give it a try now. <laughs> yeah. This is our sambal teriyaki chicken stir fry and it looks absolutely scrumptious. Let's dive in. That was so nice and now we feel so much better and can continue with the decorating. And if you would like to try HelloFresh yourself, you can use our code Kirsten Yerk or scan the QR code which will give you 60% of the first box and a further 25% of the next three boxes. And the code is 
valid worldwide, only the discount might vary depending on where you are in the world. And the great thing about HelloFresh is that you can choose all the recipes, you can even modify the servings, and you can, of course, cancel or pause at any time. So that's really great. And yeah, now we can continue decorating in the snug. And you know what? I think because it's quite cool today, we have three degrees Celsius so you can make a fire. And then we have a cozy snug. Now let's continue. Have you got enough power? Yeah. So this is... Um, this is our gorgeous pyramid from the All Mountains again because they make, well, they have the origin in the All Mountains and they make the most beautiful ones in the world. And we have this gorgeous antique table that we got last year, which is so great for the pyramid. I love this. And again, we were told that making these little trees is so much work. Yeah. It does take. Yeah, it's not glued. It's mm. made out of one piece of wood. Yes. So there's actually a lot of craft to it. Yeah. fire first and then we will put the lights on the tree we're selecting a film let me see uh, yes I, th I think that looks good what do you think? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Just needs decorating now. looking very festive this morning. Yes, I'm, I'm quite extra today. So, good morning. I thought I would make an extra effort today. I'm wearing a red lip. It's the festive season, so I, I think you can get away with it. And, yeah, I do like it, I must say. I hope you do as well. If you... If you can't get dressed up and wear a red lip during the festive season, when can you? Now we want to show you what we, when we decorated the, the snark last night and today we can continue with the, with the dining room. That's our little decorated tree. And just some greenery of the painting. Now last year when we when we did the Christmas house tour we said that we would add pictures here but we didn't find any this no, year. No, we haven't found anything. No, so and we don't want to rush it. No. So we're looking for two to three more additions but it has to be the right fit. Yes, it has to add some memory. Yeah, for one, and it just has to, I don't know, go with the rest of the picture yeah. so we don't rush it whatsoever. Yeah, a little a little tinsel, and then we, these are the, the stars we made last year. I can link the video for you again because they are so easy to make. And another paper star here, and that's basically it. So our pyramid, a, li a little angel down there, paper trees we made uh, about three years ago, I think. 
same with a paper chain. I'm not used to a red lip anymore, it's so strange. Today we actually have a Christmas event in the village, so it can be quite noisy in the front room, so what we will probably do is we film it and I do a voiceover. We will have to see. Okay, I do this now and hope. I've got five minutes because of the event outside. It's still very early in the morning, so it should be fine. Now, this is our furniture, our Gustavian furniture that we got last week from Scumble Goosey. And they do make custom size furniture. So this is, a, well, the table is our very own dimension. So it perfectly fits this space. And we love Gustavian so much. It's the Swedish style that was that was in the 18th century and if you love Carl Larsson, for example, you always find these chairs and tables and because we have this gorgeous Swedish Mora clock, we thought it would just go so well together. And the fabric, we chose a lovely check pattern and this is uh, from a London-based brand called Marvik. So the fabric here is called Caro and we we like it so much because we think it's such a classic style and simply timeless and goes so well with the Gustavian chairs and we chose four of those and then two armchairs. So, so happy how they turned out. And what we did this morning, early in the morning, we actually tried to put the clock on the left-hand side and then, the well, just think this is not finished whatsoever. Uh, we, will, we will change the chest of drawers, but it doesn't look nice at all on the other side because of the build in here. So, for the moment, we just leave it like that and well hardly any artwork it's just an evolving room we really love the details here on the furniture also lovely details here and yeah we're really happy with with the furniture how it turned out and we've been fans of Gustavian furniture for such a long time so it's so nice to have it here. Now, this is not finished. We're still waiting for the lambs, but they told us they will arrive in two weeks time. But it's totally fine for us. A room can evolve over time and yeah, we will collect art. So far, we really love it and the furniture makes such a big difference. But now, let's decorate the room a little bit. We finished decorating the dining room and we really love the results. Honestly, it's so nice. I hope you will like it as well. This is a lovely table and we used Spode that we really love, some Christmas crackers, a fresh wreath, mushrooms, nuts, tons of chocolate. This is from Germany. So this is, now this is actually from Lidl. So 
Domino Steine, Domino Cakes, and this is Marzipan from Nieder Ecke, the very best. And on our mantelpiece, so we have Christmas stockings. We've had the big, the big stockings for years with our names, and yeah, we just added the small ones. And here you can see we found the perfect spot for our angel and miner. This is our nutcracker and yeah, of course we used a little garland, pomegranates and nuts to, yeah, we kept it quite natural and also two mushrooms. We honestly love it so much and on here, pomegranates, nuts and some marzipan and I mustn't forget this gorgeous and funny tablecloth with all the animals. That's so fun. Yes, I hope you like it. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place Waking up on Christmas Day Tinsel wrapped around the tree Snowflakes dancing in the street Presents tied up with a string for you And me So grab your stocking Above the fire, bells are rocking to the... So, I wanted to create some waves today to go with the dress, yeah, but... it looks good. <laughs> I don't know. It it's looks good. Like... Yes, yeah. it looks good. Okay. <laughs> I'm quiet now. It's time for a break. Yes, I'm having um, tea. Yeah. No. You're, I'm... Having, you're having tea and I'm, I'm having glue wine. I'm having tea. And... You just want to share what you what you're adding, just yeah. a little. I'm prepping it <laughs> a bit. Prepping, you no, just need to I'm warm it up. Topping it up a bit. Okay. Simply okay. one. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Although I don't like to drink it, it does Some smell good. Cinnamon. Yeah. Oh, you know what you would also need? Maybe a bit of orange. Okay. Don't... I don't have an orange. No, that's why. So, yeah. Um, Anise. Mm -hmm. One. Two. So that will be quite strong because all of this is probably already in there. Yes, but... It... Even stronger. Good. So what have you got there? Um, oh, this is um, all spice, isn't it? And then some all spice, um, all mi spice, mixed spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're also trying the smoker with the with the scent we brought from Germany with uh, gingerbread. I'm having pistachio and orange marzipan. It's so good. What are you having? There are also some some domino steine down there. You can't see them. Ah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm taking liquid. Mm -hmm. 
I must say, all, all of the things we baked are gone. So, usually we don't buy a lot anymore. No. Hardly any sweets whatsoever. But so we've got to buy these. Yeah, at least once a year, mm -hmm. it's fine. Luckily, the decoration is done now. Yes. I'm also very tired now. It was quite a lot of work, but I think it looks wonderful. It looks great. I hope you like it as well. And now... Yeah, we're both tired. Yes. And we're going to put on our PJs and yes. watch a nice movie. I can't wait. So we chose The Grinch because we've never watched it. Yes, and I think it's funny and it's Christmassy. As yeah. always, we'll see you again very soon. So yeah. until next time. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.